ones from the wrong path to the right path, that you would put angels in their path, even as you put an angel in the path of Balaam's donkey that ran him into the wall to try to keep him from going to curse Israel. We pray, Lord, that you would keep our children from going out and doing the wrong thing, but you'd send an angel into the bar. You'd send an angel into the workplace. You'd send an angel into the business deal. You'd send an angel to stop them and to turn them and to protect them and get them back on the right path. And we release the transference of angels to our bloodline and lineage that it might be well with their souls, that they might walk in the fullness of the blessing of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They might come to know you and the power of your resurrection. So we thank you for releasing your angels on assignment to this congregation to bring more people to hear the word of the Lord, to be equipped unto every good work, that you would send angels through the internet and angels with the CDs that go out unto the people and that you would confirm your word by the Holy Spirit with signs and wonders and diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost that the gospel might be fully preached in all powers, signs, and wonders for your name's sake that people will be able to say, we know his name. His name is Jesus. He's not just a fictitious character or a storybook person. I've seen him. I know him. Lord, reveal yourself to your people and prosper your people that they might have nothing missing, nothing broken. They would they lack no good thing. They would walk in healing, deliverance, and perfect peace. And the angel of favor is released over this congregation and over the people that are present here and on video. The angel of favor, special favor, is being released to give divine connections and open doors of opportunity right now to you in Jesus' mighty name. Those in agreement said, Amen. Amen. The ministry of angels. <clears throat> entertain angels unaware. Yes. Yes. We've got an angel. <laughs> uh, when you were talking, it just made me think of an experience of my grandmother's. And uh, she had stomach cancer before I was born, but she and my mom had told me about this testimony. And uh, the, they had a whole big family get together around the table in Afton, Iowa. And they, I think it was Christmas time. And uh, she was suffering with this stomach cancer and couldn't hardly eat anything and an old man came to the door and asked for food and people the relatives were all looking out the window and saying "Ooh, you know who's that you know don't answer the door don't don't go you know i'm just ignoring and she went ahead and, and went and talked to him and he asked for food and so she went back to filling up a big plate of food and people were giving her a hard time about, you know, you don't, you shouldn't do that, he's a stranger, you don't know what's going to happen and all this. And she just ignored him and she filled up a great big plate of food and she went and handed it to him and she turned back to look at somebody else in the house and when she looked back he was gone. He was just gone. She, and it was, so there was snow and there was no tracks in the snow or anything, he was just gone. And after that her stomach cancer was gone. Yes. Amen. Some have entertained angels unawares, and there's dozens and dozens of testimonies like that. So keep an eye out, and don't miss your day of visitation. Learn how to cooperate with the angels, and learn how to obey the Holy Spirit in ministering to strangers. <laughs> By so doing, you may very well have entertained angels. God bless you all.